coming to you from the second floor of uh, Greensville County High School. We're uh, with the Greensville County High School Teacher of the Year, and her name is? Shantae Posey Chang. What is your teaching specialty, and what grade level or levels are you uh, with? I teach earth science, which is a ninth grade science. How many years have you taught here at Greensville County High School? I've taught 10 years here at Greensville County High School. Have you always been in the same department? Yes, I have. Teaching the same level? Yes, I have. Oh, you're a pro? Yes. <laughs> All right. How did you become interested in becoming an education major in college? Uh, well, basically my teachers had a great influence on me. Miss um, Cynthia Byrd and Dr. Werther, they were two excellent teachers. So basically they made it so I wanted to be a teacher as well just from looking at the way their, their teachers that I was in the classroom. That influenced my decision greatly. And what college did you do your undergraduate work? I did my undergraduate work with the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. Have you started taking some uh, postgraduate classes? Yes, I actually completed my master's degree in 2008. Oh, that's uh, quite yes. an accomplishment. Yes. What other sciences or science specialties are you qualified to teach other than the earth science that you're now teaching? I'm actually certified to teach biology as well. Are you looking to change? Not really. I enjoy earth science so much I really am not ready to change to go to biology. But if I have to, I will. So you like the dirt better than the body? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> when did you realize, maybe as a child, that science was for you? Um, probably during my elementary education classes that I took when I was in elementary school. I love science. I love doing hands-on activities. My teacher um, explained the concept so well. Basically, I knew I was going to be a science teacher when I was in about fifth or sixth grade in school. Okay, so once you uh, did your uh, undergraduate work, you had to do some student teaching, and where did that occur? Um, I actually did my student teaching at Weldon Middle School. It was actually part of my license, my licensure. So I was able to do my student teaching and everything while I was actually teaching, making money at the same time. So that was a good thing. Oh, it sounds like dual. Right. I was able to do both at one time. And what community did you grow up in? I actually grew up in Garysburg, North Carolina. And what high school did you graduate from? I graduated from Northampton County High School West in 1995. What are your personal and or educational goals for the near future? Um, well, my educational goal is to complete my doctorate degree in um, education administration. Um, I'm actually working on that now, so I hope within the next two years that I will complete that degree. Oh, that's ambitious. Yes. <laughs> well, if you get your doctorate, you're still going to stay, or are you going to look for another position? Hopefully I'll be able to move up to another position. That's what I'm looking forward to. In earth science, of which you are a teacher of, what specific area is the most enjoyable to teach? I love to teach geology. Geology takes up about 50% of the SOL test, so most of the hands-on activities I do is centered on geology. For instance, when I teach the soil profile, which are the layers of the soil layer, I actually use pudding to actually elicit the layers of the soil profile. We use pudding and graham crackers and marshmallows, and my students are able to eat the pudding once they're done. So that's just one of the hands-on activities I do to teach geology because it makes, such a lot, makes up such a large part of the SOL test. When you are at home and not concentrating on class preparations or correcting and or grading papers, what personal activities do you enjoy? Actually, when I'm at home, I teach a little bit more than I teach when I'm at school because my son is in kindergarten. So I spend a lot of my time going over um, sight words with him and going over math problems and helping him with his accelerated reader textbooks. So when I'm away from teaching, I'm at home still teaching, so. Uh, what's your typical day like here at Greensville High School? Um, well, I have three 90-minute classes. Usually my class starts out with a quick start that my students take on the notes that they actually um, receive the day before. Um, after the quick start, I usually go into my lesson. I have um, hands-on models that my students can actually touch. I have PowerPoint presentations. And um, I also have independent practices that, can, that they complete. Um, sometimes I do those practices within a group. Um, after the independent practice or the group practice, I usually end the class with a quick finish. And that's usually on SOLs that I actually taught previously in the year. And I do that so students will not forget the information um, that they need to know for the SOL test. Experienced educators like yourself are often asked to assist someone 
going into teaching or and as you would become a cooperative teacher what aspects of educational life needs to be passed on to those entering well first of all you need to be consistent if you're not consistent in your classroom you're not going to have good classroom management Secondly, you need to be effective. You need to make sure that your lesson is catered directly to the SOLs that you're teaching. Um, thirdly, you need to respect your students. If your students know that you're not respecting them, then you're going to have a hard time in your classroom. What would you like to instill in your high school students that doesn't necessarily happen in a classroom setting? Well, I would like to um, instill in my students the importance of being good citizens and the importance of being um, a very respectful person in your community. Um, also the importance of respecting others and just being the best you can be. Time management for yourself as a teacher and time management for students is difficult with all that happens in life. As a teacher, what is the most difficult in managing your time? I think the most difficult parts in um, time management is just making sure that I keep my students um, task on time just to make sure I keep them interactive and keep the class rolling. So I make sure that I change what I do every 15 minutes in the classroom, and that kind of helps the time on task increase. So I make sure I don't do any activity that takes more than 15 minutes of the student's time because they'll lose their actual attention span if you do. Is there anything that hasn't been stated by you today that you would like to convey to the community who is viewing you at this time? Well, I would just like the community to know that I have an actual passion to teach. I'm not here to make money. I'm not here for anything like that. I'm here to make sure that my students succeed in whatever educational endeavors they have or whatever they would like to do after school. I'm here to help them do that. I have a great passion to teach. I love, I teach, I inspire. Well, thanks for talking with us today. Congratulations on being Greensville County High School's Teacher of the Year and good luck in the, good luck, excuse me, in the next step of Thank the Teacher so of the Year program. Thank you.